There are times when we start off on a job or in a career, but later find out that it's just not our calling. That's what Jill Rosen found out 12 years ago when she started working at Ryle. Jill started here as a cafeteria worker. She was the lunch lady. I graduated from Ryle, so I know Jill from uh, 2007 to 2010 when she was in the cafeteria. Um, at first I thought she was, you know, like the typical mean lunch lady, um, but she's not. She is so friendly. She talks to all of the kids. She talked to all of us when I went here. It was that ease of conversation and her heartfelt kindness for all students in the lunch line that landed Jill in a new position, which became her true calling. She was offered the job of paraeducator for students with multiple disabilities. She sought the advice of Principal Matt Turner before she took the job. She dealt with a thousand kids every day. You're going to be dealing with a small little group of kids, et cetera. You're going to be able to change that. Went back home and talked to my husband about it, and he said, he goes, here's Jill. Just let those thousand people meet your 20 students. <laughs> and so I kind of try to take kids out in the hall and I introduce them to people and I do all kinds of fun things just so they can be included. She does make a point to try to help educate some others in, in, a, in a very, uh, very easygoing way. But uh, she wants to make sure that everyone understands that these students can learn and they can grow and they can be better and they can probably do more than we think they can. And just that philosophy really resonates with all of us here at our school and she's a big part of that. My brother was a part of the FMD room here at Ryle, so I've known her probably since middle school. Miss Rosen gets to know each student, learns to understand them, and sees to their every need. You could call her the student whisperer because she has an effect on every life she touches. Even the peer tutors, like they look up to her. They, you know, know they'll, she'll set them straight. Like, you know, if they're not being a good role model for our kids, like that is like our ultimate goal. I would love to be like Miss Rosen. She's amazing. Like, she cares not only for her students, but for everyone who comes through that room, if they're her student or not. She's always there for you. She's our classroom mom, like she really is. I take him to that person, I say, say hi friend. And so he says, hi friend. And the kid looks at him and I say, what's your name? And then Brendan will say his name. And I think some of those kids, they had no idea what these kids, you know, that they're normal. I mean, they're normal. They want to just do everything everyone else does. They want to go to basketball games. They want to go to football games. They want to be invited to the parties. She's also a coach. She has coached basketball, soccer, and volleyball. She now helps coach in unified sports an inclusive sports program where her disability students are teamed with a peer player and compete in track and bowling. This year, some of her students were even good enough to make it to state. She is an amazing paraeducator. Um, she's my go-to. Um, she helped me when I was student teaching. She helped kind of help me understand what the expectations are at Ryle. Rosen has had a life-changing effect on peer tutors and future teachers alike. Both peer tutors, Claire and Harley, are seniors that plan to study special education or early childhood based partly on their experiences with Miss Rosen. I do this class because working with these kids, it's so much fun. I've learned more about myself more than anything. They just make your life so much better and they're so joyful. And every day you go into this class and it pumps you up. We have such an incredible program here. And uh, I think we get a lot of teachers that come out of this school because of our program, because we're so open and honest and inclusive. Congratulations, Miss Jill. You did an amazing job, and you deserve this so much. Love you. Congrats, Miss Jill. I just want to thank you for just being a friend to me, and just creating a bond that I never thought I would have, and we love you so much. Congratulations, Jill. You deserve it. Jill, congratulations for Break the Mold. So excited for you. You are awesome. I look up to you. Um, thank you so much for all you do for not only our kids in the classroom, but in Unified and outside with our fundraisers. You are constantly doing things um, to break the mold and change the way the world feels about our students. So thanks and congrats. Congratulations, Jill. We love you so much and you do such a great job with our students. We're very proud of you and uh, uh, it's just amazing all the things that you do every day for all of our students. Thank you very much and congratulations to you.